Hello everyone, welcome back to the Power of Military channel. Flak Tank Jeopard. The Jeopard, German for Cheetah, is an anti-aircraft gun, or Flak Tank, with twin 35M guns. It can be used against aircraft and helicopters at altitudes of up to 3,500 meters, 11,500 feet, but also against lightly armored ground targets such as infantry vehicles and transport tanks. This means that the Jeopard can be used as both a defensive and offensive weapon. However, the Jeopard would not stand a chance against a battle tank because it is relatively small caliber gun. The Jeopard has a range of about 550 kilometers, 340 miles, on the road and can ford bodies of water without special additional equipment. What makes it relevant for a mission in Ukraine is that the weapon was developed, among other things, to counter armored combat helicopters such as the Soviet Russian Mil Mi-24, Hind. The Jeopard was introduced in 1976 and was long a cornerstone of the German military's air defenses, as well as the Dutch and Belgian armies. But in those countries, the Jeopard was retired about 20 years ago, and the last one was decommissioned in Germany in 2012. Romania is the only NATO country that still uses the Jeopard, and the German models must first be made operational again. Another problem for its deployment in Ukraine may be that the anti-aircraft tank places high demands on the crew due to its complex electronics as well as radar and fire control systems. According to Johan Wadifel, defense spokesman for the conservative Christian Democrats, training takes at least six months which is why Wadifel proposed sending the Leopard 1 tank or the Martyr Infantry Fighting Vehicle instead. Ukraine was initially promised 50 Jeopards, though there is reportedly a shortage of ammunition so far. Howitzer 2000. This is an armored self-propelled 155M caliber artillery gun, whose 60 rounds can be fired at a rate of 3 rounds every 10 seconds. Targets can be destroyed at a distance of 30 to 56 kilometers, depending on the ammunition. The companies Krauss Maffei Wegman and Rheinmetall supplied the first howitzers to the Bundeswehr in 1998 and continue to produce more advanced versions. Unlike the Leopard battle tank, the self-propelled howitzer 2000 must halt to fire, making it clearly inferior to a tank in a direct confrontation. However, it can immediately assume a new camouflage position after firing to avoid return fire. The howitzer can travel at speeds of up to 60 km per hour, 37.3 meters per hour, has a road range of about 420 km, and can ford waters up to a depth of about 1.5 meters. It is designed to follow motorized formations and provide them with fire support. The howitzer was successfully used in missions in Afghanistan in 2006 and 2007 in conjunction with air support. Targets could be engaged at a range of more than 40 kilometers. According to Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht, the Bundeswehr has about 100 howitzers in its inventory, of which about 40 are operational. Chancellor Olaf Scholz has now promised Ukraine seven howitzers, but they would first have to be made operational, which is expected to take until the summer. Martyr INFANTRI Fighting Vehicle. These infantry vehicles transport troops into combat, provide both fire support and cover from which soldiers can fire, making them a particularly versatile weapon system. The Martyr has room for six or seven gunners, a 20M machine gun and Milan-guided missiles against both ground and air targets. The vehicle also has a protective ventilation system against nuclear, biological, and chemical weapons and can ford waters up to 2 meters deep thanks to its submersible hydraulics. Entering service in 1971, the Martyr is even older than the Cheetah and is gradually being replaced in Germany by its successor, the Puma. Nevertheless, the Martyr is still in service with the Bundeswehr and in a number of other countries and has proven its usefulness both in Kosovo and Afghanistan. This was made possible by continuous upgrades over the years. Leopard 2 Battle Tank The Leopard 2 is the showpiece of German arms production. The battle tank has been in production since 1978 and has been improved many times since then, and the Bundeswehr does not plan to replace it until 2030. Due to the great export success of the Krauss Maffei Wegman made tank, there are many different versions, each of which has been adapted to the specific requirements of buyer countries. 
There are also licensed manufacturers abroad. Its predecessor, the Leopard 1, has also been sold many times and is still used by many armies around the world. The Leopard 2's purpose is to defend against enemy tank formations. Its 120M cannon can be used to engage both stationary and moving targets, and can remain locked on its target even when driving over rough terrain. The Leopard can ford waters up to 4 meters deep with additional equipment. Its NBC protection, against nuclear, biological, and chemical weapons, is designed to last up to 48 hours. The 1,500 horsepower tank with a speed of more than 60 km per hour is a heavyweight, though its weight of more than 60 tons is always a problem for bridges. According to Canadian and Danish soldiers, the Leopard has proven its worth in operations in Afghanistan, primarily because of its high level of protection against attacks. It was also deployed by Turkey in northern Syria, a politically controversial operation. The German government has not yet promised Ukraine either Martyr or Leopard tanks, Though Andrzej Melnik, the Ukrainian ambassador in Berlin, is calling for the speedy export of 88 Leopard tanks, 100 Martyr tanks, self-propelled howitzers, and much more.